So it's taken me a little bit of time to complete my first version of the CV builder, which is the assignment from the Auden project. It's been really good, actually. I just struggled to sit down and actually make time for it, I guess. If you haven't seen my previous video on my different designs, then I'll have it linked down below and on a card up here somewhere. If you want to go check that out afterwards. But with this design, I went with version number two first, and that's because, well, it was the simplest of the three. So this video is going to be a quick demonstration of the CV builder that I've built using React. Talk about some of the problems and issues that I have, and then a few kind of improvements. Because right now, this is very much an MVP, minimal viable product. So it works, but it could definitely, definitely do with some improvements. So let's dive right in. First up, an overview. So it is fully deployed to GitHub using GitHub pages. And the left hand side is all about the inputs, you know, adding your information, adding websites, education, career, whatever. And then there's the document styles at the bottom, which I'll be going over later. The right hand side is what gets rendered out, and uh, that's live. So you can add your name, and you see it just updates live there. Add a phone number. So I'll type this one out one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then you can add in your websites, add in multiple websites if you'd like. So we could put in GitHub, what else? Google.com. Just pretend I made Google, please. And like, that might be smart. You don't actually need to add the HTTPS. I've got that added in already. So it will link straight to the site. And you've got your summary about, which will fill in underneath the About Me page. Yep, I am great at talking about myself education you know went to ue from 2012 to 2016 if i delete 2016 it will say present so that's pretty cool you got your area of study maths and first class and then again you can give an overview add more education and that's pretty much how this cv builder works where multiple entries are possible there's an add whatever button, so education, jobs, projects, skills, and references. The document styles will allow you to personalize the document. The primary color is this background color and the section headers. The header text color is obviously this text color. We've got paragraph color, font size for paragraphs and the header, the section titles, and then an option to make a bold italic underline. So pretty good there. In terms of the different components, so each kind of section, so personal information or education, for example, each one of these is a component. And then again, each section on the right hand side is also a component. The inputs, however, so all the inputs apart from the document styles are rendered from the same component, which was quite nice. I just added a option to add in type and then it would render out different inputs depending on the type. So I think I've got three different options. I've got the text or the default one email, Bob. So if I put in an incorrect email, it will highlight the text saying it's not an email field. So we can put in Bob email dot icon type dot com and then it goes away. So pretty good there. And that also works for the email down here. Now, initially I actually had the state within each of these inputs because I was going to put both of these like the education input and the education output, I was going to put them as, you know, one component, but because I wanted to go with a two column style, I actually needed to separate them out and yeah, the state wouldn't have worked there. So I needed to take all the states and push them up into the app component, which was interesting. And I have mixed feelings about it really. So it looks very messy. So let me just open up the code and we can go through that. So here's the app code. And as you can see, this is my state and it's actually not too bad. Like it works really well. And it's almost like kind of the results you would get from an API. Everything's an object. So it's objects of objects and they have arrays and then you can have objects in the arrays. So it, it does look quite messy, but it also works quite well. So I'm not unhappy with how I approached it. 
it did lead to some interesting ways of figuring out how to then make sure the states update correctly. So if we go to education inputs, for example, I've got this ID field, ID val, and basically that targets the section, then the variable that I'm trying to type. And if it's part of an array and index, and arrays also have can have additional variables to attack, so uh, attack different variables to update. So that'll be school, and then I'm labeling as an input. So that's fairly straightforward. If I go to one which isn't part of an array, so here is one which doesn't use an array within the first element. So we've got ID personal info, we go to the state personal info, that's how it's targeting there. I'm then looking for the name field, name, and it's an input. So I know that I'm going to be updating it. And this callback is in the main app again, and it's just looking for that ID. So it was quite interesting to build, probably not the cleanest way, but it does work fairly well. Now to talk about the styling, well, let's be honest, the styling's pretty terrible. So pretty plain, it's not my best work, but as I said, it, it does the job pretty well. Buttons, they change on hover, the footer, hey, the footer I quite like to be fair. It has a bit of zoom and stuff like that. The HTML color picker, so that will update all of these, so it's quite nice. Let's make that a really dark color. And we'll I put a minimum font size on for the paragraph and the sections. So because if you just click the up button, it would be really small. So I think I minim had a minimum of eight pixels and you can just increase that as you'd like. And I think 15 pixels was my minimum for the section headers. So it works quite well. And again, we'll go bold and italic. Take off the italic, we'll put on the underline, and you see it all updates quite nicely. Oh, I need to I need to fix that actually. My check isn't updating for the bold, so I need to fix that. But italic and underlines. The document styles are probably one of the areas that could have been improved quite a bit. There's a lot of repeated code, especially the primary color, like all the color selectors. It's just a little bit messy, I would say. So yeah, that's definitely one way that could have been improved. For the rest of the improvements, well, I've got a few ideas, really. Obviously, styling, I think that's a big one which could be improved on. Just make it a little bit more engaging. I've made it slightly responsive in the fact that if it's below 600 pixels, yeah, it will then resize to a one column grid. But it's really not mobile friendly. So making it work for mobiles, that would be quite a nice feature. Generally, just tidying up the code, I think, would be another good improvement just to make it a little bit more readable and usable. Try to do something where I'm not repeating loads of code. So for example, this education and career section are very similar, but they're two different components. I don't know if there's a way to make that a little bit better or not. One improvement which would really take this to the next level is an option to save the inputs to local storage so or to a database if you're that advanced. And that would allow a user to start building the CV and come back to it at a later date. I haven't actually shown you what it looks like on the print sentence, but I just remove all the headers, the footers, and just print off the one page. There are a few things, so you could delete the margins and it goes to full page like that, which is a little bit better. Not sure if it's something you can do in CSS, but I think it is. I think you set the page value to something weird. I can't remember off the top of my head. I have got a background graphics selected with CSS. So if that doesn't work, you have to click on the background graphics. That was causing me an issue with this kind of header section. It just wasn't coloring in. So a few more improvements, which were kind of going into some of my other designs like design number one, the option to move sections up and down. So one possibility there is to have like a draggable. I think that would be a really cool way to add it in. A simpler option is if you have like a hover, you could do up and down. and That should work pretty flawlessly, I would say. 
Another nice option could be to, instead of having a primary color for the main header here, to have it transparent. But then you would have to figure out how to color this text, which could probably just work from the primary color, but have a tick box maybe to say transparent. And then it would, if it's transparent, then this section, this header color here would become the primary color. I don't know. There's definitely ways around it. Let me know if you think there are any more kind of improvements that you would make to this CV builder. Generally, I've really enjoyed it. It was nice to use React a little bit more. Yes, there's a few things that I need to work on and improve on, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. Just a quick little plug from me. I have started to go live on YouTube now. If you've got time and you want to come chat and hang out, then I'm live on Sunday mornings at around 10.30 British summertime. I think it's British summertime right now. I'm mostly just chilling, playing some Apex with some friends, but I will be doing some live coding in the near future. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. Hope you all have a nice day and I'll catch you later.